Hello, I'm Dale from the British Bushcraft School and today I'm going to give you some tips on survival. The big difference between sharpening a knife and sharpening an axe is that an axe has a curved bevel coming down to its cutting edge. So that means you need to sharpen this using a smaller stone. You can actually buy circular stones specifically for axe sharpening, but I prefer this little one here. Uh, this is diamond on one side and graphite on the other. The skill in sharpening an axe is being able to get your sharpening stone so it actually meets the cutting edge of the axe. And the best way to do that is to hold the axe like this, place the sharpening stone against it, and if you look closely, you can see a shadow between the cutting edge here and the face of the sharpening stone. If I tilt the sharpening stone like this, that shadow disappears. Once that shadow's disappeared, you're then sharpening on the very cutting edge. Now, as with all sharpening stones, you need to make it easy to move, so we dip it in some water quickly, place it against, and then you start moving in circular motion, starting at the top, and then going to the bottom, and then bringing back to the top again. Do a couple of passes on one side, then you need to turn the axe over. So, you see here the handle was facing down, now I need to bring the handle up. I can put the handle up alongside my neck and rest it on my neck, making sure again that I can look down and see the cutting edge. The same as before, circular movements, paying close attention to the angle of this stone, making sure that it's hitting the cutting edge. Then I flip it over again, do the opposite side, and it's just repeating this process again and again. So once I've done this a few times on either side, using the coarse side, I can then flip to the fine side, which is this graphite side. But it's the same true of any sharpening stone. You'll get sharpening stones with different grades on. The same rules still apply. Start with a coarser grade and then go to a finer one. So I've repeated the process all with the softer side of the sharpening stone, and now it's ready for a process called stropping, which I'm gonna use a leather belt for this, and I'm gonna lash it round a tree. If you look at leather, it's got a shiny side and a dull side. It's the dull side that you want to use for stropping. Here, stropping is an important part of the sharpening process. Because as you sharpen an ax or a knife, you create a small burr on the cutting edge. And this burr needs to be gotten rid of and we do that by using leather. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ax, I'm gonna place it on the dull side of the leather belt, and I'm gonna pull the ax towards me so the cutting edge is moving away from the leather. If I go towards, it's fairly obvious what's gonna happen, I'm gonna cut through my nice expensive leather belt. So as I pull towards me, I'm gonna make sure that I roll the ax around in my hand slightly so that I get all of the cutting edge. Once I've stropped towards me, I then turn the axe over and go away from it again, rolling the head around like this, so I get all of the cutting edge. And then just alternate the sides. I'm keeping the belt nice and taut. If I let the belt go really floppy, you can see what would happen is that the belt would literally drag across the cutting edge of the axe, which would blunt it, it wouldn't strop it, so I need to keep it nice and taut like that. So this has now been stropped up edge is razor sharp, which I'll prove by shaving the hairs on my leg. I wouldn't recommend this normally, but it just demonstrates how sharp the axe can get. And that is how to sharpen an axe.